Fisher, Mokong, X3M. Um, right, just a little chat today. Uh, so every now and then, you probably guessed what this is going to be about from the title, whatever I title it, but I'll title it in some way that you can guess quite well what the discussion is going to be about. <laughs> Um, every now and then I get like a, a comment on a video or a, um, a private message or even like when I'm meeting people in real life, uh, usually people ask me, you know, hey Mokong, why don't you ever speak to Gallup? Um, you, you've got a Filipino mother, you've been to the Philippines numerous times, which I've obviously shown here on YouTube with my holiday videos, and um, you've got a Filipino wife, but we never hear you speak to Gallup. And you never reply to Tagalog comments. I, I usually never reply to Tagalog comments, and I usually never um, speak Tagalog because I don't speak Tagalog. I don't understand it, and I obviously don't understand um, the comments. If I do reply to a Tagalog comment, it's usually something like, uh, sorry, I don't understand this, or I've um, shown the comment to my wife Joy, and she'll translate it for me, and then I'll give a response. <laughs> But no, I actually don't speak uh, or understand Tagalog. Well, I might know a few words here and there, but I know I, I wouldn't call myself in any way fluent. That is not to say that I would call myself fluent in Irish at the moment either. I obviously know a lot more Irish than I do um, Tagalog. Um, I used to be fluent in Irish, like as I said before, I don't know when I said it, but it's probably a couple years back I said it in a video somewhere, um, that I actually went to a Gwale skull for primary school here in Ireland. Um, so that was like um, doing all the subjects, Os Gwaelga, all the subjects in Irish. Um, so like up until about 12 years old, I was near enough fluent in Irish. And then when I went to secondary school or high school, um, it was, there, there was no, um, there was no Irish secondary schools in the town. There was only um, English ones. So I went to an English secondary school and Obviously, there was an Irish subject on the curriculum, but honestly, I don't like the way Irish is taught in, in secondary schools here, um, like, or at least the way I was, um, the classes I had in Irish in secondary school. The teacher basically came into the room and um, like wrote something on the board and said, copy it down. I don't think he ever once had a conversation in class in Irish, and like from like the age of 12, moving into secondary onwards, I've started to lose a lot of my Irish, and you can see that in my videos. I've, my grammar is usually quite off, and um, I've forgotten a whole lot of words, but I'm actually trying to, um, to relearn what I've lost, which is why you've seen me try and do a lot more Irish stuff in my videos lately. Uh, but I've gone off topic. The topic of this video was, Mokong, why don't you speak Tagalog? <laughs> um, as I said, uh, I don't speak Tagalog because I don't understand it. Um, so I suppose the next question is, well, Mokong, why didn't your mother teach you Tagalog when you were growing up? Well, I grew up, I grew up, I grew up in Ireland, um, obviously, um, not in the Philippines, and at the time, like back in the early 80s when I was born, uh, 83, uh, my mother was probably one of the first Filipinos to come to Ireland and to live in Ireland. Um, she was definitely the first Filipino in the Waterford area and the only Filipino in the Waterford area for quite a while. Um, so she actually had no Filipino friends um, like to talk to Gallag with. So I never actually heard my mother speaking to Gallag, you know, around me as I was growing up. So I obviously never learned to Gallag the natural way that you would that a baby, that a child learns languages uh, just by by hearing it. So I never learned it that way. Um, Eventually, my mother did have like family, like one of her sisters moved over, but I think I was six maybe at the time uh, when, she, when my, my uh, first uh, Tita, my first aunt from the Philippines moved over, I don't know. Uh, and there were, there were like a few Filipinos up in Dublin, but uh, we lived down in Waterford. Like we'd go and visit them and stuff, um, and like from my memories, I don't ever remembering being around them that well. I was probably too old at the time to learn the language naturally. I didn't really try to teach us um, Tagalog when we were growing up. Um, that's maybe because she's not a teacher, <laughs> for one. Um, but I guess uh, she didn't want, because we weren't ever really going to be using it like in school and stuff, uh, and she didn't kind of want to confuse us between English 
and um, and Tagalog, and then I went to a Gwale school and learned Irish. Um, it actually, it would have been good to know the three languages, um, but obviously now I, I I only know the two, one and a half, pretty much now. I used to know two languages, now I know one and a half. <laughs> Um, but with regards to Gallog, uh, you know, my mother didn't really teach, like, she taught us a few words here and there, but never really enough to put together a conversation, and we never really, uh, saw it written down or anything. And, like, we did go to the Philippines when we were kids, on holidays as well, on family holidays, um, and obviously I heard a lot of Tagalog being spoken over in the Philippines, uh, but obviously, like I said again, I was obviously too old at the time and wasn't able to pick up the language naturally. I do remember uh, some of my cousins trying to teach me um, some words. Um, there might they might have actually been trying to teach me bad words. Now that I think about it, <laughs> but uh, nothing ever really stuck for me. Um, I do have this strange thing though where I can read Tagalog now. Um, that is to say, I can read and say the words, but I don't understand what I'm saying. Um, for example, like Filipinos like to sing karaoke. Um, so generally when I go to a Filipino party, there's a karaoke machine there and I'll give a few songs a lash. And uh, there are actually a few Tagalog songs that I have um, learned and can sing on karaoke because I, I've heard the song and I've read, the, I can see the words, um, so I can read the words and sing it. Um, but I don't actually really know what I'm saying or singing. Um, but I'm able to pronounce the words correctly enough that people then after singing the song, if, they don't, if they've only just met me, they'll come up and think I understand Tagalog and uh, sometimes they'll say something to me and then I'll go, well, yeah, I don't actually understand Tagalog. <laughs> and they'll be like, but you just sang the song in Tagalog. Like, I can read the words. That doesn't necessarily mean I understand them. I have tried like in my later years, I say later years, I'm 28 now, like, um, especially after I first met Joy back in uh, 2003, I did try to learn Tagalog. Um, I remember buying loads of, loads of um, self-learning books, self-learning tapes on Tagalog, or, or, or CDs. Um, I really did try to learn, I swear. It just, it, it, it won't stick in my head, unfortunately. Um, I seem to have this slight mental block when it comes to learning languages um, uh, at this stage. For example, I took French pretty much all throughout school, all in all five years of secondary school, I took French as a subject. I can't speak French now. I don't know how I passed French in my leave insert, but I did pass it. I think I got like a D, which is a pass here in Ireland. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I passed, uh, I don't know how, but I don't understand it, and obviously I haven't used it since uh, finishing up secondary school. Um, so yeah, I don't speak French either, it's just a complete mental block. Irish was the only one that I really ever picked up, that was obviously because like going into the Gwale School at like three, four years old, whatever it was, um, you're still able to naturally pick things up at that stage. Um, and obviously because I was doing it every day, you know, and in every subject, I learned to speak Irish. Um, but when it came to actually trying to learn another language, whether it be French or mostly Tagalog, it just wouldn't stick. And yeah, I'm just not bothered anymore with it. So that's why I intro all my videos as Gaelga because I grew up in Ireland. I am Irish, even though I might not look it. Um, and sometimes I don't sound it. <laughs> um, but yeah, and uh, that's why you don't really hear me speak Tagalog. I think I spoke Tagalog in a collab with someone uh, in Ole, Ole24's video. It was some sort of a rapping thing. He gave me a script, and as I said, I was able to read the words. Um, I'll put a link to that at the end of this video or down in the description if anyone wants to see me speak Tagalog. I don't know if there's any other videos where I have spoken Tagalog. I'm trying to make it like I could. And I should have planned for something right now to end the video. Um, in advance in Tagalog, but I didn't plan it, um, so <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just end it normally, this is Mokai Extreme signing off, uh, remember, hoga bogey, slon, and rock on!